So there's two ways that you can add an image to your Blackboard course. Uh, one way is to add it just as a, a pure piece of content. The other way is to add it as part of an item, a blank page, an announcement, a discussion, a test. And I'm going to show you both ways. So the first way is just adding it as part of a, um, just a, a, a its own item. So the first thing that you do is go where you want to add the item. So I'm in my course. i am uh, got my week one material. I want to add an image. So I'm going to go to build content. And one of the items is add an image. So when I do that, it will bring up, um, it will go to the page where I can make the edit. So I'm going to call this my image. Then what I want to do is I want to browse my computer. And this is where I'll go look for that particular image. So I have one in mind. I'm going to select that one and open it. And then I need to provide some alt text. So alt text is when you mouse over an image, it provides some text and it's uh, important for uh, screen readers and other other tools like that. So alt text, uh, so this is my ad for a webinar. And I can provide this, uh, I'm going to copy it and put it in my long text and add some additional information for 19, 2020. Okay. So as you scroll down the screen, you also want to change the, the dimensions maybe. Ideally, you've brought the image in at exactly the size that you want to use, but in, in a lot of cases, that's not what's happening. So one way that you can change that is clicking on Custom. And in this case, I'm going to make it 400 by 400. I know this image happens to be a square. But it's important to know what the dimensions are when you start. And then you're going to have to decide how much you want to reduce it. If you reduce it by fat by 50%, that's pretty easy. You just cut the numbers in half and post those in there. But if, you, if you're doing 75% or get down to 30%, um, you're going to have to do a little math. I can decide if I want a border. I can decide if I want to link out to something. And then the rest of it is just standard information. So I am going to go ahead and submit. And so there I have it. I have my image. And so that is one way of providing a piece of content. So another way that I can do it is I can create an item or a blank page. And so I'm going to do this time as a blank page. I know in the, the blog post that this is attached to, I did an item, but in this case, I'm going to do a blank page. So for my blank page, this is my new, um, my new article, okay? And so what I want to do next, so I've, I've put a title on it. And I come into the content area or the text area. And at this time, I want to go ahead and click on the image tool. You may have your menu rolled up. It may look like this and you don't see that tool. Just go over to the far right side and you see show more and you'll see the rest of the menu. And so I'm going to go ahead and insert my image. So this brings up a slightly different uh, box that you're going to have to fill out. So the first thing I want to do is browse my computer. And I'm going to use this one and select open. And already I can see that this is going to be too big. So I'm going to reduce it because it's bringing it in at its real size and it's really massive. So I'm going to change that. But this is uh, 
So this is my ad for March 20. So before I insert this, because it will be really big, I'm gonna click on the appearance tab and this allows me to change the dimensions. So in this case, I'm gonna change it to 300. And because I have constrained proportions checked, it will, when I tab over, it will automatically uh, do the proportion. So I like this way better because it does the math for me. The other thing I can do is control the vertical space, the horizontal space, put a border around it, add styles. The advanced tab is really for um, create, you know, adding different images that if you mouse over, um, it, it's, it's really higher level stuff and not what we're trying to do today. So once done, I'm gonna go ahead and click insert. And so now my, my item is there and I can hit enter and I can start adding text uh, to the bottom of this. And I can add other things. I could go ahead and add additional images if I wanted to. I can repeat the process all over again and I will browse my computer to find uh, another image that I use. We'll use this one. And this was my previous ad. And once again, with the appearance, I'm gonna change this and make it uh, 350 on each side and go ahead and insert it. So you can see that it's, it's a little bigger than the other one, but I've added that. I can go down and do the other basic things I need to do and submit. And so here I am on my page. I have that first image that I created. And then I have a, a blank uh, page that I'm using. And it, when I click on that, it'll show me that I have that particular uh, image. So from a student point of view, let's go there. And week one material. So when I go there, I have that article. When I click on my new article, that is what that's going to look like. So I hope that helps.